all that? All right, let me say that there again. We got a warrant, a warrant. Bodies, bodies of a mother and two kids found bound in suspect's apartment and car. Here we go. New developments tonight in the murder of this young mother and her two children. Mm. We now know the Johnson family's bodies were found in two different locations at a Charlotte apartment complex. Court documents say there were signs somebody trying to conceal the deaths before the bodies were found last month. Look at that beautiful baby right there with that nose ring. Oh, she just got like a pretty face on her. Well, today, the suspected killer made his first appearance in Mecklenburg County Court. Channel 9's Hannah Getz is joining us live mm. now from there with more. Hannah? Hannah. No, that's right. I was in court. I don't like that coat for you, Hannah, but go today, ahead. Today, when prosecutors told the judge they believe Benjamin Taylor is a tremendous threat to the community, mm. and we got a glimpse of what they meant by that when those documents were released today. Mm. Our cameras weren't allowed in the courtroom. But anyone inside Benjamin Taylor's first court appearance saw him enter in shackles and an orange jumpsuit. He look a little angry. He, 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 that man, he look a little angry. In the same courthouse, the mm -hmm. family of Markayla, Miracle, and Messiah Johnson, wearing shirts with their loved ones on them. The family of three was laid to rest over the weekend. Mm. And he needs to know that she was loved and so were her kids. She was Shout out for having her real. Very much loved. He wanted to just take that away from all of us. In court, prosecutors said Taylor was a tremendous danger to the community and a tremendous flight risk. New documents were released today revealing the graphic nature of the killings. Detectives were granted search warrants on March 15th. That's when they found Markayla Johnson dead in her Orchard Trace apartment where police and family had knocked on the door earlier that month, according to the paperwork. Investigators also- Earlier that month? They noticed ahead, multiple used air fresheners, candles, and fans in the apartment. Police later found the bodies of four-year-old Miracle and seven-month-old Messiah right. inside of Taylor's car parked outside. In court, the judge agreed that Taylor would not receive bond. The family of the victims tell me they want more. Mm. We want a definite death sentence. That's what you're searching for. Want yes. Death sentence. That's what's up? Now those documents also reveal that on March 6th, CMPD found surveillance video of Benjamin Taylor leaving the state on a passenger bus, mm. and he was arrested in California almost two weeks later. He's expected back in court later this month. So he didn't have a car either. Live outside the courthouse, and it gets Channel 9, Eyewitness News. Yes, well, y'all got to be careful. See, now they really not giving us enough information. Was they dating? Was they like living in the same apartment complex? Did he like just pick her out the blue? What's going on? Shout out to London for the 199 super chat. He says, check out the GoFundMe for the last story. Oh, oh, all right, all right, cool. Bam, bam, bam. Let me go ahead on to finish this right here. But look, 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 look. Was he the baby daddy? Like, don't nobody know nothing. Like, they did not give enough. They did not give enough, so I can't give you enough. I don't need much, no. Uh, maybe I should have looked deep inside the doggone story. But this is just a problem. Ladies, I guess you watch 2360 or 9. I don't know. We don't know the motive. We we don't know what she did to him or what he did. Well, they saying what he had done did to her. But I really need to be knowing more um, about what's going on. And since I don't, move right along. I ain't going to get much older.